Welcome to my YouTube channel today. Now today this uh, video is about the Watchtower and how the governing body's literature, the governing body's literature exposes them as being shares in the sins of elders who have raped children within the organization. The Watchtower, their own literature, the literature that they produce, that they publish, exposes them as being shares in the sins of elders who have raped kids within the Jehovah's Witness community. Now, how can that be? Well, I'm going to pull up two screenshots. The first screenshot is going to tell you who appointed these men that have raped kids in the organization. Pull it up. Here in the Watchtower 1975, notice who appointed elders who have molested children within the Jehovah's Witness community. It reads, hence, Today, appointments of elders and ministerial servants are made directly by a governing body of spirit-anointed elders or by them through other elders representing this body. All men measuring up to the scriptural qualifications are appointed either as minister servants or as elders. So, the appointment of elders come from the governing body. It's right here in the 1975 article. Now, the screenshot that I'm about to pull up that was written by the governing body says that those who appoint elders, which the governing body appoints elders, are responsible for those who commits sins as elders. In other words, the governing body appoint, if a governing body member or members appoint elders and those elders go out and commit serious sins, the governing body in their literature says that those who appointed these men share in the sins of those men. In other words, they Bear some responsibility. Pull it up. The Watchtower 1952 reads, and this is from the governing body. It says, Never lay your hands hastily upon any man, neither be a share in the sins of others. Preserve yourself pure. In addition to being warned against hasty appointments, Timothy was told what qualities to require of appointees to service positions. Why all, the, why all this precaution? So that he might avoid being a share in the sins of others. If he made improper appointments, he will become responsible for the sins of such appointees since he put them in position to commit their sins that hurt the congregation in God's sight. So what is this telling us today? The first screenshot showed that the governing body appoints elders and ministers servants. The second screenshot shows that the governing body are responsible they share some responsibility in the sins of those elders that they, that they appointed. It's right in their own literature. They bear some responsibility because they feel that Holy Spirit was upon them and Holy Spirit aided them to appoint these men in a position, in a high position, in which they use that position to molest kids. They abuse their authority. Those men that were appointed by the governing body. 
So when these men molest children, the governing body refuses to come to their aid and help them. The governing body refuses to care for those children, which the majority of them are adults right now, to give them care, to show concern. There's a scripture that describes the behavior and action of the governing body. And I'm going to read it. Pull it up. Here in the scripture, at John chapter 10, verses 11 through 13, Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. He who is a hired hand and not a shepherd who does not own the sheep sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. He flees because he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. There we have it right here. The governing body or hired hand. They care nothing for the sheep. And when these pedophiles prey upon the sheep, these wolves, the governing body runs and flees and care nothing for the sheep and do not protect them. That's why, that's why the responsibility lies on the governing body for the rape of thousands of kids and the organization. They appointed the elders, and we already know their two-witness rule, which makes the governing body responsible for the rape of kids. And these wolves, many of these wolves, are getting away with it. It's something to really think about, to consider. Thank you. Have a good day.